if you're looking to buy or sell an account or get your badges grinded, make sure you hit up Goat Plugged. The link will be in the description. You will now regret their services. Let's get it. What's going on, YouTube? It's the Go White Boy of 2K. It is Young Dirk. I don't even know where to begin. But this is the best guard build in NBA 2K20. If you're a guard, you gotta make this build. It can do literally everything you need. Okay, so the name of the build is the offensive threat. I'm gonna show you exactly how to properly make this because you can actually choose a different pie chart and make an offensive threat still, which is stupid. So this is the real offensive threat. You can, I want you to listen. This is not a troll and you can see in the highlights. You get contact dunks, okay? Your driving dunk is an 87, okay? Now this is at 99, of course. Driving dunk 87, you get contact dunks, park dunks, park alley-oops, all that good jazz. You can fade. Your midi is like an 89 and you can get difficult shots on, on Hall of Fame. You can shoot threes. You get shooting badges on Hall of Fame. Your open shot three is an 87. You can obviously dribble and you can obviously pass the ball. This is the best guard build in the the game you get finishing and shooting badges on hall of fame and then you get your playmaking and defensive badges on gold i'm going to show you guys all my sigs my jump shot how to make the build how to equip your badges on your place look at that hop step depending on your play style this is the best guard build in the game you guys i personally like to iso with it because in my opinion, screens are just too easy with this build. And I'm just being straight up blunt. If I'm ever doing a wager or something with this build, then I'll use screens. But any other time, it's straight ISO. And to be honest, actually nah. If I'm doing a wager, I'm going to ISO first just to have fun with them. And if I'm losing, then I'll resort to screens. Not going to lie to you. But so, if you guys could please do me a favor, just hit that subscribe button. Join the GOAT gang. Let's hit 200k subs. All of us as GOATs. You won't regret subscribing to me. And if we can get this video to a thousand likes, I would really, really appreciate it. Now, I'm going to show you guys my stats right here. Alright, you guys. So, this is in slow motion because I did not record long enough. But anyways, I'm only a 95 right now, okay? I got to get to 99. I just wanted to show you guys this build. I was super excited. So, just add plus four to the attributes. So, excuse me. 91 driving layup, 86 driving dunk, 87 open shot three, 89 midi, 89 ball control, 79 steal, 96 speed, 98 excel. Bro, it's just, this build is godly. It can literally do everything you need, bro. Only downfall is he's a little short, but don't worry about that. I'm going to show you guys how to create the build. But look at the skill boost. One, You got to get the Gatorade. Make sure you do the Gatorade boost so you get that plus four. So you can get that 96 speed and 98 excel. But let's get right into the build tutorial. Alright, so here we got the build. You're making him a point guard, okay? Make him a point guard, whatever handed you want, doesn't matter. You're picking the second pie chart, which is shooting and finishing pick out that pie chart you guys okay then you want him to be as fast as possible to pick out the top pie chart you're gonna want to max out your close shot now do what i do exactly so you can get the badges okay do what i literally do exactly you guys so you're gonna want 16 shooting i mean 16 finishing excuse me and obviously max out your shooting to get all those badges do exactly what i do Okay, don't, you can change it up for the attributes on defense, but for everything else, do exactly what I do, you guys, okay? You want to just do what I, do. I don't know how to say it enough, just trust me, okay? I'm a good player, I want to help you guys out. That is the whole goal of my channel, is to help you guys out. I screwed up on the block, do not do the block, you're going to go back down. I did the interior defense and then did defensive rebounding. But like I said, for the defense, you do what, whatever you want. However you want to play and however, whatever fits you the best. 
So I did it like this. That is how I did my attributes and badges. This is my exact build. Make sure the body shape is defined so you get that a uh, little more speed in my opinion. You could do 6'4", 6'2". I like 6'3". Do 172 for the weight so you get that 91 excel. Then lower that wingspan all the way down. Now for your takeover, I screwed up. I don't like sharp takeover. If I had to do it over, I would do playmaker or slasher. Sake of video, just I'm gonna uh, put playmaker for you guys. But do whatever you want. I would do playmaker or slasher if I did it again. Now here's the offensive threat. Now let me show you my sigs and the badges. And uh, yeah, drop a like if you haven't already. <laughs> Okay, so you can do your badges however you want, but I highly recommend just listening to me. So for finishing, okay, you get 16. I have Acrobat, Consistent, Contact, Fancy. Acrobat, I do a lot of reverse layups. Consistent is probably the best one. You don't even have to time your layups. It just, you know, it'll go in regardless. Contact Finisher to get them contact layups and dunks. Fancy footwork for the hop steps. Now, if you want to change it up, I recommend either using Slithery Finisher or Giant Slayer. Relentless is trash, do not use that badge. And then you could also maybe add in, add in Pro Touch as well. You know, just play around with them, but I recommend having these four on gold at least. So let's get to the shooting badges. So for the shooting badges, mine are a little weird. I like Quick Draw on gold, but I recommend Hall of Fame. I just like it gold. This is what I have currently. If you have a lot of hot zones, put on hot zone hunter. If you don't like to fade, take off difficult shots. I like Tyler Shooter because I dribble a lot and you know, yeah. You don't need Green Machine Hall of Fame, just put it gold. But the two you need Hall of Fame for a fact are Deadeye and Rage Extender. Those are very, very important. So play around with them as long as it's a mixture of these badges including hot zone maybe if you have a lot of hot zones um yeah so make sure it's just a mixture a mix mix am i stupid a variety of those badges being used okay you guys just just trust me all right and also you're a goat and you're very cute i hope you know that so uh yeah let's get to the playmaking badges so for the playmaking badges again just have a variety of these if I'm ISOing, I mean, excuse me, if I'm using pick and roll, I take off tight handles and put on needle threader, threader, excuse me, or you can also switch dimer with floor general, whatever floats your boat. But the main three you need are handles, quick first step, and unpluckable. Especially for me, because I like to ISO handles for days and unpluckable are very, very important. Ankle breaker sucks, don't put on that. For defense, just put on Intimidator and Clamps, put on Pick Dodger if you want, but Intimidator and Clamps is the wave. Now, for my signature styles, animations, whatever you want to call them, this is probably what you guys like, my animations. My jump shot on this build is jump shot 85, okay? You're welcome. There's my jump shot. You, you guys caught me. You're welcome. Jump shot 85, and here are all of my dribble moves, jump, uh, dunks, fades, park dunks, whatever you guys may want. So, you guys, that is it for the video. Now, I got something for you guys. If you want to make some easy side money, watch what I'm about to tell you. You know, you don't have to do it, but it's just easy side money. So, I recommend watching it. But I really hope you guys have a great day. Go out. <laughs> if you want to make some easy side money, listen to what I'm about to say. As you guys know, I am a businessman. And my goal of a YouTuber is to help you guys out in the game. But I'm going to help you guys out in life. Over the past like 3-4 months, I've made like 10 grand buying and selling sneakers, hype beast items like Supreme for example. And to be honest, it's all thanks to my man Brandon who is the owner of a cook group called The Good Chefs. Basically, what the group is, okay, it's a complete guide. It's not really a guide. It's just a learning group, and they basically teach you how to buy and sell all these items and how to obtain these items. 
and which ones to buy, which ones to hold, which ones to sell instantly. Like it's just a complete learning experience and a complete group to help you guys out make money in this field. Now, obviously nothing is free. It's 50 bucks a month, but listen, if you just get one shoe, you make your money back. And if you get like a really good item, like uh, this week a Supreme North Face is uh, dropping, I don't know the profit, but it's a lot more than 50 bucks. And the Travis's that dropped a few weeks ago, if you got one pair, the retail was like 250 and you could sell them for a grand. Like go on StockX if you don't believe me. I actually did get a few pairs of Travis. They're in my closet. But um, please don't rob me. So like I said, it's a learning experience. 50 bucks, you can use bots in the group, you can get shoes manually. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner, advanced, or very experienced. I really recommend joining the group. It's just an easy way to make money on the side. It's not like easy, it requires work, but once you know what you're doing, it becomes very easy. My friend Brandon has done a quarter million in sales in the past year, so props to him and that's great for him. I'm very happy for him. You know, I'm trying to get like him right now. That's just a side hustle for me. So the link is in the description. You know, feel free to ask me any question you want on my socials. Just DM me and I will be glad to answer all your questions. Again, link in the description.